ten seconds remaining. Dazzle! Dire team pick. Hello everyone and welcome back. We've got more Summit Fog action. We've returned from Singapore with some of us and we've got a new guest in the house, Fogged. How you doing, dude? Morning. This is 11. It gets earlier tomorrow. Tomorrow's when the 8 a.m. starts to come back, so... I'm still jet-lagged, so this is like, I'm, this is like the middle slash end of my day, so I feel wide awake, so... Um, I'm feeling good, but guys, we've got some of our Europe, we've got NIP taking on Vegas Squadron. Uh, NIP lately have not been in the best of form, we're looking at some of their recent results, and uh, it's been a bit shaky. Vega, though, be pretty good all in all, it feels like. Oh, yeah, pain. Vega Squadron. Uh, quite well. Nip's having a little bit of trouble. Team Looks like I had crushed a little bit. Yeah. Not moralized. Like a Okay, well, we're going to hop in the draft. Game 1 draft is underway. It is a best of three, so these teams actually met yesterday, and it was a draw. So that's at least a bit of a positive for NIP, is that they took a game off Vega yesterday. Um, and this time around, there will be a winner. We will know who's getting knocked out, who will move forward. Two European spots available in the European division for the Summit 4, and these two teams in the lower bracket. So it's do or die for NIP as well as Vega. Coming out into the draft, first pick Doom, 6.85B or whatever we're on now, C, I don't know, but Doom's still a hero. Five seconds remaining. Wishband is probably the thing that's different, but that's just because the two Reserve but, time. Yeah, yeah Slaughter Dazzle. Mm. Fine. And it was the Queen of Pain yesterday that no one played uh, in the game they won against Vega, against uh, NIP. So, no surprises there, and I mean, all in all, the little changes to Doom as well as Brood probably not going to change things massively as far as the overall picks and that we're going to see, I feel like, in the current metagame. Yeah. When's the next big patch come, do you think? Is it like post, post-major, post maybe, or...? I would think so, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Dire team yeah, I agree. Even the patch after... TI felt like a fairly small, it was a like small little balance changes. It changed a few of the top picks. I mean, Doom came back, I guess, but uh, it wasn't like a major rehaul, like as we've sometimes seen from these patches. 10 seconds remaining. I know North America, like, it's no. too bad. I haven't been following like the European tournament so closely, but the European teams at Nanyang were not playing night. We saw no night soccer at, at Nanyang in Singapore, so. Uh, since getting back, I saw one game where it was played by LGD, and I think one game in Dream League where it was played, but um, it's not been a top pick anymore, it feels like. For a long while, it was like first two picks, must grab, you run it like in that either off lane or four position, dual lane kind of thing, but... You know. Do you think it's being underpicked then, or is it... Wrong. I really like it particular team pick. I was about to say because you know Nightstalker nice is kind of that front line and he gets you in positions to win through and kind of find his own you know safe haven that he can get all his spells off. Okay. Vega squadrons. And as far as Vega go, almost definitely going to see the mid queen of pain. But do you know if they right, prefer the doom off lane or safe lane? With the jug pick up, I guess it's going to be off lane now. Okay. So. Yeah. Top tier pick. No matter where. Yeah. Well, very just flexible in general. So NIP slot up with Wind Ranger. We saw this a lot out of Team Secret um, in Singapore and just in general. These two heroes work very nicely together. You've got a guaranteed kind of blink stun set from a slot up. Wind Ranger can set up a shackle and just good focus fire damage with an amp target. So. Yeah. Turn to ban. Fire 15 bags. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So NIP last pick likely to be well, I guess. Be the safe lane farmer or the offlane, and depending how they want to run the slider. Also, literally not having it so early. You have such a lineup and safe. All running around. We've seen some people even run him on support. But yeah, they have it going already. I think traditionally the like the top picks, like the heroes you pick in the first or second slot, are always, uh, often heroes that can run multiple roles, be it support or core or off lane or safe lane. Unless there's like one really OP hero, like you go back to, like maybe your sniper or something, whatever it may be, then it's like, well, you just first pick it because it's a sniper. Reserved. NIP now, last pick coming their way. We'll see what they have in mind. And. What are they. Hmm. <laughs> 
I guess that's a lot of people have been doing this. The Wraith King versus the Doom. It's, yeah. it's pretty decent. I've seen people have some success. As far as against Queen of Pain Wyvern, are you worried about the hero getting kited around or they do have they have pretty decent dying that has a little ridiculous same throat, but lots of luck. Okay. Well, Vega now, last pick for them. Most likely looking for support. I, we don't normally see anything too crazy like and unpredictable as far as their drafts go. So, looks like... Uh, we do apologize, guys. It seems there are just a couple audio things we're working out here. We'll get logged on a, a new mic, and hopefully that'll fix things fix things up here. But last pick now coming for Vega. And unless they're going to be running either Doom as a four-position jungler or like a support roaming juggernaut, this will be a support option for Vega here to kind of shore up their lanes. The Lich denied, so we won't be seeing any of that Lich Doom in the off lane. Uh, maybe Winter Wyvern can kind of fill that roaming, kind of help mid out a bit, help the off lane, and then you look for a last pick support for the juggernaut. As a... So, they're still missing solos. Yeah. Using like Nina or Witch Doctor or someone. Okay. Solo's crazy. Watching that guy. It's, it's like a very, it's very entertaining. You're just like, oh, he's not going to go for this. Oh, he's in. Oh, my God. <laughs> very entertaining. Okay. okay. Do lack lockdown. They really only have curse mm -hmm. right now. Not something you want, you can really rely on. Like it's with the long cooldown, and also you just don't want to have to blow it on like a win ranger who wants to like win run TP out. It's like, oh, I guess, guess I got to use a, a curse now. Ten seconds remaining. Hmm. Five seconds remaining. Even just like a standard lion giving you some insta lockdown and also mana drain later on against Wraith King, but there's a solo here. Great with the jug, kind of similar concept to like the Rubik gyrocopter you see sometimes. Hmm. That one, you see him playing the Dazzle, or most of the women actually, so they'll play the Dazzle. Okay. Well, we'll see an Era Wraith King, so it will be a safe lane Wraith King and Jonas on the offlane Slada. Is Slada here in the offlane you feel needs to be given a bit of extra like support? Like, do you want him in the dual lane, or would you rather just give him solo XP? See, like, hands down there, or even seal kid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Yep. Alright, we got some fun fun little bugs here. I can't actually click on my mini map. Do you know anything about that? Can you click on yours? Oh jeez. Oh, do we do we have a? Can you swap over for a sec? That'd be awesome. Thanks, Roland. All right, just give me give me the word and we'll restart. Okay. Thirty seconds to battle. yourself one ops now instead of the two you can buy yourself a 75 volt tp which is really beneficial and then it gets radiant as well you now it's just like it's very hard to find this reward okay well here we go Spider level one here they both want the top bounty room patrick comes in with the blade fury they're gonna go for the wind ranger it looks like with the shadow wave the sustain is there a little bit for nmp but blink forward no one actually gets first blood Queen of Pain securing the kill, but now Solo in some trouble. Winter's Curse, or Winter, sorry, the Arctic Burn not available, and it will be a one-for-one -one kill trade. Both bounty runes going the way of NIP. And a first blood to the Queen of Pain in the mid lane, so... Bit of a even trade, perhaps, or slightly Vega favored? How do you feel about that one? Too bad. He basically has a bounty rune. Just... Yeah. Limp didn't get a bounty rune himself, it went to Wraith King Slada. Okay. So aggro trailing from Vega, they want to contest this lane. For now, Undying doing what he can to zone out, but you've got an Undying Wraith King, two melee heroes, but... Maybe not the strongest of lane for Vega, and Solo actually wastes the Arctic Burn, does not do any damage out of it. 
the long cooldown as well. It's a pretty hefty mana cost that he's kind of gone through now. <laughs> so they do this, but it doesn't really feel like they're going to win their aggro trialing. Is this more just to try and secure Mag a better start then? Since Doom's just, I mean, Doom is Doom. Yeah, so it looks they have women in pretty damn weak. He's getting completely zoned out of the lane. He only just now gets his first CS up here and oh. <laughs> Yeah, you say that now, Wraith King top CS, nine CS four denies. I mean, it's still early days and once you get a few more levels, you get Splinter Blast in the lane, things get a bit stronger, but... Now Hanskin going for that top rune, will be denied it by Sioma. The bounty rune is the invis rune does spawn at the bottom lane. Not already is very far. I think this is what we're... Yep. Yeah, being forced to buy additional Tango's styles in the mid at uh, this early on is pretty pretty bad news. And being and probably telling his team like, man, this lane's getting crushed. If you guys can come get a kill, this is this game could just be won on the back of the mid lane because Sioma is actually lingering around mid now. Some additional kill potential onto the Wind Ranger. Okay. As for the top lane, this does kind of free things up a little bit, not having the Dazzle up here, but Hanskin, when on dying, still very pesky to deal with. Already two Decay stacks on Passion, he's right down to below 400 HP. Not working out. Water is completely free from the other hand, could be getting... Rather than this two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top lane have gone in, Hanskin goes and turns it around, Decay in the Tombstone, now he gets graved up as well! He's likely to live, and Hanskin will get himself back, but it's going to be a one-for-one one, one one trade as Windrange actually dies mid, a solo kill coming out from no one. And... Yeah, it's <laughs> a matter of time. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll see if that's going to help things out a little bit here. Pasha is still struggling to get any kind of farm up here, and Wraith King, with another kill to his name, is leading the CS chart still. But... but I mean, you look at the lanes, two, one lane being won by Vega, one by NAP, and the safe lane at least a bit of a wash. Both Doom and Slada getting farm out of this lane. So detrimental. Alright, well, we'll see. NIP look to bring their supports back to the top lane. Still seems they're just going to leave Limp Put him on his own in mid. Which is a bit of a, a scary proposition when no one's approaching level 6 now. Denied. Yeah. He is... Oh, 4 experience short of level 6, but... One. There we go. Bottle on, on the return, and one CS is all it's going to take to get him that level 6, and Limp could just instantly die to a Sonic Wave Scream combo. Minecraft is not... Yeah. Yeah. Could, ooh, doesn't go for it right away. Up to 500 HP, no one. Holding on to the skill point for now. Now levels it up, and... Making the play just yet. Now we go. Blink, Shadow Strike. Didn't go for the Sonic Wave, wouldn't have been quite enough damage, it looks yeah, like. Still has bottle charges and a Tango at hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got to just straight up bottle crow. He can't even really... Well, he'll heal himself fully up. He'll probably get harassed out of lane and then have to get a six-minute rune to stay in this lane. Top... Yep, Pasha, they go in. Blade Fury looking to just escape. They're trying to right-click down the Tombstone. The supports will bring it down. Meanwhile, Hanskin very low on the Undying. A second stun comes out from Era. No one rotates in. Sonic Wave goes down. Doesn't get a kill right away, but the Wraith King eventually dies. And he's looking to clean house here. His Seal Kid on the back line's dead to the Queen of Pain, and one left. It's Hanskin. 
He's got no real escape and bottling up. No one has a scream. No, he doesn't actually. Just going to be the Rubik getting the kill. Four for nothing as Doom even gets a solo kill down at bottom. Just Doom things. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Everyday Doom stuff, yep. And if you get the Doom, but when the sprint's offline, you don't have that movement speed to run away from the Orb of Venom Doom as well. So... That was a uh, big win. Looks like mid lane win range him. Whoa, that was close. What? <laughs> they both got each other down incredibly low, but that's probably more beneficial towards Vega, who are going to force Limp back to the fountain now. Radiance middle tower is under attack. All right, Concord, but if you're going to be aggressive, you're ready to TP. They see those, they get them low, green comes out, and boom, right there. No one can get the three. Yep. Well, from from there, it's going to be Vega kind of controlling this early game. Queen of Pain already 3-0 and 2. Doom having a great start. Doesn't even need the safe lane anymore, which means Pasha can kind of be given some farm down bottom. And it hasn't been a terrible start for Pasha by any means. He hasn't got the CS, but 1-0-2 has phase boots level 5, at least in good fighting shape. Not sapping full Doom now just going to occupy the jungle. So they give, they're give they giving the, the free farm to the Wraith King, but it's still, I mean, it's a Wraith King. You're not too worried. It's not like it's an anti-major or Spectre type hero. We see. Mm -hmm. well, Jonas also not doing so hot. He's going to get doomed up again. Wraith Fury will help bring him down, and Mag gets his second kill of the game. And you were talking about Limp. It looks like it gets brought very low, but Sonic Wave still being on cooldown means he won't actually go down here. Radiant structures are Jeez, that's very worrying. This is about as bad a start as you can get for an IP. And when you look at the one here getting farm Wraith King, unless you go for like a fast blink dagger or something, it's not like you can change the tempo of the game. They either need him to pick up some item or like a slider blink dagger before they can really start taking fights here. Or at least going around looking for smoke ganks. There's no item timing coming that soon that's going to help him out. Game comes towards the top lane solo, surrounded by four heroes, may just go down after this cold embrace. We'll do as much damage as he can and not really the biggest pickup considering NIP rotated in four heroes, although they'll be happy with the T1 tower claim if they can get this. Yeah. Buy us some more time for just farm at bottom lane as well as mid lane. You've got Mag in the jungle now, level eight. Phase boots and even a fifth hero rotating up top, Jonas. Realizes they won't need him up there and will swing back towards the mid lane. Um, I don't see him going for Midas. It feels like it's too late. Blink or the Blade Mail, I guess, is the two sure. main options I'd consider. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. The build now. It's a slasher build, right? The Blink, Blade Mail, Radiance, it seems like. Yeah. Yes. I think you got the Radiance before the Blink Dagger, though, if I recall correctly. Um, yeah, but, but definitely, like, the, the Blink Radiance in general seems to work really well. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And Blade Mail just gives you, like, you benefit so much from all the stats, the damage, the mana, the armor. It's only been such a good item, just for stats. Yeah. Now last, you know, more, more items no. like in People kind of stopped buying it because it felt like people got used to versing the item, so they stopped, <laughs> stopped attacking heroes or using nukes on heroes when they have blade mail. But I mean, even if you're not getting that much out of the actual blade mail damage, it's still just, yeah, like you say, great for all that. I've seen this one before. I think they just realized NIP is so reliant on this slider blink dagger that they're going to just keep on ganking Jonas. There we go, the lift. Not even, yeah, <laughs> not even needing the doom. They hold the Omni Slash and the Doom, so it should be a tier 1 bottom tower now as well. Oh god, that's going to be... A lot of the damage is physical. Slada, Dazzle, Windranger, Wraith King. Okay. Well, this is... I mean, you talk about Solo, will just sometimes go off on his own, playing a bit greedy, but... Realistically, if NIP are focusing their efforts on him, it's the rest of the more important core heroes getting more out of the map. Yeah, space, exactly. Five roll, where he actually has... He has every single death. <laughs> Zero five, right? Five and... Uh, that's... 
<laughs> and support play is so hard to measure. Like, what, like if you look at stats, there is no real measure of what's a good support player. Because you can be 0 and 5. Like, I mean, Pilot has another great example. Like, you look at some of those Bounty Hunter games he played in the Grand Finals, and his stat line was awful. There was one game where he was like 0 and 5, 10 to 15 minutes in the game, but he was getting so much done and was probably like the almost the MVP of that game. So, yeah. No. It doesn't really feel like anyone on NMP is getting much farm outside of Era. I mean, how does NMP's lineup look as like a comeback kind of lineup? Can they just... Are they going to hit any kind of level timings which allow them to fight even without having the same farm that Vega do? Yeah, they can fight with a different I predicted, I don't really like losing an early game when you're dying. I think it's a bloody coach. his strongest point. Yeah. But they, they have some pretty good things, I think, you know, with the Wii and the But, uh... No, say goodbye to your blink dagger, Jonas. Oh dear. Blade Fury with a doom. There's a lot of TPs. He actually may survive this one. Magic throws one less level death, and it's Limp coming in from the side with a focus fire, double damage. Omni Slash available, and he's going to chop him to pieces. Sonic Wave there as well. Looks like Slaughter will live for now. It could be another blink scream if he's not careful. Dazzle instead. A new target. Tombstone gets used, but that's just going to be easy pickings. Bad news. And he gets the better Tombstone onto the high ground cliff. NIP getting pummeled down. Era, he's got reincarnation, but that's going to be a 260 second cooldown being wasted, it feels like. Unless you can get the kill on no one. The hold embrace! Oh! Gets denied. And not only are they going to get the kill on Era, Jonas needs to be careful because he's still nearby as well. It's like it's going to just be four kills and a reincarnation. Uh, I mean, getting that level one reincarnation down is like taking an Aegis away. It almost counts as like an extra kill in a team fight this early on. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Koppel hit, what, just the Wraith King or something? Like, sitting behind and, like, a full HP Wraith King? It was very much not the best Cop ultimate from no one, but I think... Yeah. In Vegas, five minutes is strong. And, I mean, talked about NIP's potential come back but it's almost feels like they're too physical damage focused and vega with vlad's already picked up and their itemization are going to be able to fight just fine hold embrace also working wonders as we saw that fight yeah. magic guess they have no magic damage. yeah just what power shot and i mean k is like okay like decent in the laning stage but Yep. It was yeah, third picked after the Quop and the Doom. Yeah. I mean, it felt like the Wind Ranger pick was fine, because at least you've got Power Shot and it works well with Slaughter, but the Wraith King, like adding more physical damage against the Wyvern Doom and all that. Yeah. So Roche will be claimed now, Vega. Mm -hmm. From there, probably just to start taking towers and objectives. It's gonna be a Queen of Pain Aegis, and no one's orchid just about complete as well. They just need to. We see you. Gigantic die. Yes. Dyer's middle tower. Looks like Vegas is gonna take. Yeah, there's... And they haven't actually taken any towers yet. They've accumulated this, like, 8,000 gold lead without taking more than a single tower, which NIP's done just the same, but... Yeah, the time is now to start grouping up a little bit. Doom also picks up a blink, so you throw in some solo kill potential. They can push his four and Doom... Because often, if you push his, like, four or five, NIP are going to push the side lanes, and that's where Doom, just being off on his own, looking for some of those solo pickoffs, could be a big threat to NIP. Yeah. That. And it's great when you're versing a team who's going to try split push and avoid your five man to have that hero who can solo kill people like split push. In the case of a doom and Queen of Pain with an orchid, similar story where you can solo kill a lot of the heroes on the map. Take two towers, they TP back and I'm up a little bit before heading to another lane to push. I imagine. 
Thank you, sir. Ooh, also may find some pickups here. The scream and Jonas gonna miss the uh the crash. Slatter. That's and they're completely starving out an IP. There's not even, I mean, Aero at this point not even that close to like another new item. Probably wouldn't even be able to make the jump to a Radiance this game. May just need to pick up the kind of Blink Dagger we mentioned as like a, we are going to fight now or we lose the game kind of pick up. Zap. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, mana boots so up real big, and then they just have good old healing ward. Healing ward, Vlad Zora, the sustain is ridiculous. They've got urn charges as well if they need. Dyer's top tower has yeah. They may as well at least force the rotations back, because right now NIP trying to maximize their farming efficiency, farming bottom, mid, and ancient, so forcing them to group up as five to defend the high ground at least prevents them from farming. Yeah, well, at least until the healing ward gets expires or gets taken out, I mean, this is working just fine for Vega. Radiance Middle Tower. Mm, I mean, they force five heroes back to defend now, so that's at least uh, objective. <laughs> Does it even matter though? So, a lot of minus armor, but yeah, that's yeah. I saw minus twenty on the Doom. I was like, wait, how'd that happen? And yeah, weave as well as the amp, and I think that's why they backed off. They had weave and amp on them. Now they get the tower and the shack onto no one. He's the one with the Aegis and hold on, Bracel. He'll back up. So, this... Yeah, but it's this. They just don't have any way to engage. 18 minutes in, you'd expect like. A blink dagger either on Wraith King or Slather, and the only way it feels like they could start a fight is Error running in and throwing a stun or Limp hitting a shackle. You're not going anywhere. Well, there's the shackle. Winter's Cold embraces, and there's actually Winter's Curse onto Error. The Sonic Wave slightly off the mark there. Doesn't catch everyone that he was hoping for. Now the Omni Slash comes out. Jonas and Error both getting low. That is going to be a reincarnation if they get Error. And for now, just the one kill onto the Slather, they do pop the reincarnation mag now in a bit of trouble, healing himself back up, gets Cold embraced, and. Be okay for now. <laughs> Orchid will stop the stun. Yeah, this is. Look at these HP bars at the top left. Not a. No damage taken. Even disjoints the stun. They'll turn and fight. They say, wait a second. We may not have Doom or Quap Ultimate, but we're healthy. They're not, and we've got the items. Limp even hits another two hero shackle, but at this point, it's really to no avail. Blink forward, and no one feeling very confident. The stolen shackle. Sioma. Rubbing salt in the wound right now, and Mag actually oh, kept alive. Power shot brings him down. A kill going in IP's way. Their first in a long, long time, and they'll get a second too. Solo, doing solo things. <laughs> hey, someone else has died now. Yeah, no longer the lone feeder. Oh yeah. They have to do massive dives, probably three or four times. Vega just not a team who normally does those kind of things. Yeah. I mean, if this was like 2014 Illidan, maybe you'd say, oh, you know, there's still a chance, but... There's... Well, NIP, maybe it's be starting to think about game number two at this point. It really didn't work out. Not getting the bounty room, not getting that level two. Really just... Yeah. I feel like a lot of teams there would have just dual lane mid rather than trying to contest the top lane. They did win the top lane, uh, NIP, in the early game, but didn't really amount to much. Yeah. yeah. They didn't really have. They don't really have. Uh, dying to really mm. impressive. And even some, like, like the individual outplays from Quop in mid, and similarly the Doom in bottom lane. Like, this is, I feel like, partially the drop, but also just individual outplays and the execution issues that NIP ran into. This is smart, too. Like, you look at, you look at the line, and think, okay, they're definitely going to go. Vega would be like, oh, you don't think Vega's really going to contest, but they just like, oh, we're going to get boots, Juggernaut, we're running at you. We're going to, yeah. we're going to go. Then. What are the, like, when you, like, as a, I mean, you still play competitively, like, how do you decide which rune to go for? Is it, like, if you've got the stronger lineup, do you go for bottom or top? What's kind of the 
thought process there. Okay. Big one, level one. Yeah. So what, what do you mean to say your own rune? You mean like the top rune is the... the... Okay. Here we go, NIP making one last ride. There's already a BKB up in Quop, and Jonas, before he gets a crush off, will get doomed up. Sonic Wave goes through, catches everyone, and this is looking all over in this fight for NIP. They've lost two already. A third limp on the back line gets, well, a stun to help him out a little bit there, but Era has not even got reincarnation back up. Four dead, make it five. Yep, team wiped, beyond godlike. GG is called. 21 minutes, all it took. And NIP will get destroyed. Yeah. So early it was what, Dream League, where they got 2 0 Hmm. That's sometimes hard, you play all these tournaments and if you have like, you start the day badly in one, suddenly it carries over to another and... I mean, it looked like, yesterday it looked like this was going to be a good series. Like when I watched some, these two teams play head-to-head, -head, NIP won game one convincingly, game two was really good with the, um, the AoE global combo and this game though, yikes. I don't know. Partially a, a drafting thing, or do you think it was more just all the other stuff we talked about? It was, I would say it was more, more play, but they also do have... Do, yeah. Have <laughs> what are you doing?